Yo, what's up? No, 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 no. Oh! Edward. What's going on, guys? It's Re here. And a person in the comments section asked me how I'd got my thank you text at the top of the screen in the end of my most recent video. And uh, in this, I just wanted to quickly go over how I got that. And so, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to have is whatever editing program you want. For me, I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but I'm probably going to be switching to Premiere Pro relatively soon. So, yeah, let's just launch this up. Now that we have DaVinci Resolve opened up, we're just going to go into a new project. We're going to go into the Edit tab. Uh, we're going to right-click over in this Media Pool, go down to Import Media. Then you're just going to want to figure out wherever your uh, Thanks 15 Seconds is existing in your computer. And then you're going to click on it and then press Open. Change project frame rate. You're gonna to want to go up to here, and depending on what your, if you don't know that your clips are 60 FPS, then probably just don't worry about this, and then press change project frame rate to whatever uh, it asks you to do that. So, so then all we are going to do is add in our uh, 15 seconds thanks, and then we're gonna to want to find a clip. So I'm just gonna go into my editing assets, and then. Go to Pro Clips and then grab a random one. Shout out to this guy for the clip. And then all we're going to do is we're going to add our thanks text to the um, on top of the clip and a new editor right here. And by the way, I got this thank you text from Joshi and Charlie FN's editing pack their premium editing pack that is um so if you want to buy that and get access to a lot of amazing effects for davinci resolve effects presets transitions um i'll link it down in the description or i'll link to the video that they made for it it's super cool i think it's really worth it and yeah you should go check out them and their editing pack uh video track and then we're gonna just go to wherever we want to start it move the playhead to there and then put this right here let me i'm just gonna delete the audio so you don't hear that uh put it to wherever we want it to start up and then if you haven't or if it's if it's all black what you're going to want to do is go onto the clip and over here in this inspector tab also if it's not there then you can just press this little inspector thing in the top right uh you just scroll down and then you might have to put this on to add if it isn't already then you just add it on top and it looks pretty nice but the way that i got mine to the top of the screen is by clicking on it, going over to transform, it should be at the top. And you can also change how big it is by just keep doing the zoom right here, dragging it up or down. But the way I got it to the top was you just go on position and then, that's the wrong one. You go on position and then go on Y and then drag it up and do this. And then it's at the top. The way that I make it uh, end at the perfect point is I basically go to wherever the clip starts to um, up here wherever it starts to like go off the screen it does a little animation so I'm just gonna find that point real quick okay so I found this point and I'm just gonna split the clip by pressing control and B and then I'm gonna drag this all the way down and then a little bit further and then I'm gonna grab this part which is the part that where it ends and then I'm going to put this right up to the edge so it lines up here. And then all I do is I drag this so it fits. And then it, it's pretty seamless for this one because of the way that it's worked out. And then it ends in the perfect spot. It's a little bit glitchy right now. But it usually looks pretty good after rendering. And really quick, as I realize while I'm editing this video, one quick thing that you can do if you want to make it look a little cooler. Um, as you've may possibly seen in my most recent video i added a blur to the gameplay after when the text pops up so if you would like to do that just split the clip with once again control b uh wh wherever this uh starts and then you uh select this clip by clicking on it go over to your effects tab or effects library if it's not there if it looks like this or if it looks like this you can click on media pool or effects tab that's how you add in sub add different uh, sections of your screen so if you would like to add the blur that I use go into open effects and search GAU and then this thing I don't know how to pronounce it so I'm not gonna try to 
and then just drag this onto your clip and then it just switches and it looks a little better if you have a different clip playing in the background so like say this is your montage you add a different clip of like a free build or something and then blur it out you can even do this where you keyframe you, you, you keyframe at the beginning of the clip the blur you keyframe at zero and then go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen frames in and then keyframe at from 0.458 to 0.6 i'd say is around like this area but you can fiddle with it and figure out whatever you want and then i'll just copy these same settings as me i don't really know what they do but it looks good and that's what matters so this is just a little smooth fades in and then video ends you can also add a little fade out on the video if you want by just dragging this thing hovering over the clip and dragging this to add a fade out as you can see that looks pretty good so i'll render this out and then i'll play it at the beginning and then uh yeah thanks for watching